Magandang araw po, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. The Bible passages I have to share you today is from the book of Matthew, chapter 20, verses 1 to 16, Pinang pinamagatang ang mga magagawa sa ubasan. So the gospel talks about fairness. Kaagad po pagkabasa ko nito, I thought of the fairness of God. In Tagalog, pagiging patas o pagka makatarungan. So by definition, fairness is the quality of making judgments that are made from discrimination. In the context of business organizations, po, kasi I'm uh, teaching this one, fairness involves balancing the interests in decision making, hiring, firing, investigatory process, compensation, and rewards systems. Now po, in contrary, fairness ay meron tayong opposite niya ay unfair, di ba ba? O kaya yung tinatawag na being unfair. So questions, dear brothers and sisters, when was the last time na naka-experience kayo ng pagiging unfair sa ating mga buhay? Opo, and then it echoes in our mind na it's unfair. You remark, I, did, I do not deserve this. Kanyo pa nga, di ba? So, being a student, maybe, a member of the family, or an organization, or an employee, ganon, mayroon at mayroon kong mga unfair situations sometimes. Pretty sure you have had your own experience po of unfairness. Yun nga, sabi mo, you do not, you do not deserve it. So, in this gospel, we shall be focusing on two uh, striking passages. passages. Una po, sabi dito, in, the, in Matthew chapter 20, verse 60, when Jesus said, So, the last will be the first, and the first will be the last. So, you might be thinking, paano kaya yun? How would God be like that? Tandaan po natin, ang parabolang ito ay inihalit tulad sa pagkahari o kaharian ng Diyos, the kingdom of God. It's like the kingdom of God. Di ba, di ba nga, we are told that whenever we work, uh, effort, let effort na we put into something, we are rewarded. Hindi po ba? It will soon pay off if we will work hard on something. Ito po, this is especially true when lalo na if we are comparing ourselves to others na hindi naman ganong kumikilos towards their success. Bakit kasi tayo nagko-compare? Okay? Yun yung nagiging just the, uh, just the justification ng actions natin na, oh, I'm doing good. Ganyan. Hindi po ba? Pero hindi po ganun si Lord eh. Hindi niya tinitingnan kung ano yung mga nagawa mo, kung ano mga na-accomplish mo. So, hindi niyo ba napansin? Doon po sa gospel na ito, parang sadyang tina-challenge tayo ni Lord. It, it's a test of how generous we are. Opo? Pangalawa, sa Matthew chapter 20 verse 15, Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Uh, it's the decision of God. It's God's decision on whom to give it yung grace of kanyang love, mercy, forgiveness, ay siya ang magde-decide nun kung para kanino. So in this uh, gospel, my dear brothers and sisters, knowing this all, we are all invited to see ourselves in the story. We put, uh, we put ourselves in, in this gospel and then apply it to ourselves. We all have the tendency kasi to be envious. Kasi parang, bakit uh, mas okay naman ako sa kanya? Bakit mas maganda yung reward niya? And doon, pantay-pantay sila. So the issue din in this one is the equality of the love, the, the love of God for all of the people. The point is that God's grace, mercy, love, and forgiveness are God's decision and He, he gives it to everybody. Kung kanino at kung kanino karapat dapat. So, dear brothers and sisters, we all deserve it. Our equal share and fair share from God's, um, God's grace. Ulitin ko po, dear brothers and sisters, that kailangan na, hindi natin kailangan maging literal na laborers kasi um, we are co-workers po sa kingdom ni God. Yan ang nais nice na sa atin. We are His building in God's field. So, what to do then, dear brothers and sisters? We have to be obedient. We have to respond to God's invitation kasi He called us. Hindi sa isa niya eh. And uh, kabalik-balik siya na nagtawag ng workers niya sa kanyang vineyard. So that we shall be rewarded kapag tayo ay nag-respond. 
So, dear brothers and sisters, uh, isa na naman natin yung iba. Idamay natin sila. Tawagin natin sila para all will be happy. Sabi nga doon sa 1 Corinthians verse 3 to 9, 3, uh, chapter 3 verse 9, So, let us be all happy workers in God's service. You are God's field, God's building. Let us all be workers, happy workers, laborers with God. All equally worthy in His high, in His eyes, all deserving of His grace. So God bless us all, dear brothers and sisters, to God be all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus.